In this episode, I would like to speak briefly about believing how cultural conformity should be a cultural goalpost or finishing line for people from other cultures to aspire to obtain. Welcome to Four Seas, One Family. Welcome to Four Seas, One Family, where we share thoughts and opinions concerning life in Taiwan, the region, and the world. I'm your host, James Thomas, coming to you from Taipei, Taiwan. And I'm so glad to have you traveling along with me on this journey, and welcome to the show. Ethnocentrism is an anthropological term used to describe views held by people from a particular nation, culture, or race who see and interpret the current and past world events based on their daily lives that are exemplified within their own culture. When interpreted by people who have more cultural awareness because of their experience living outside of their home nation for an extended period of time, the way ethnocentric people see the world is just another sign of cultural arrogance, ignorance, or blindsidedness, and in some cases, grossly overlooked misinterpretations of the world. Especially for people who have never had the opportunity or the desire to interact with people from other cultures or live outside of their home nation or familiar surroundings for an extended period of time, it is almost inconceivable that they have a basic or cohesive view of the people who make up the world from different cultures, regions, and backgrounds. People who display an extreme ethnocentric attitude towards their own culture compared to different cultures constantly emphasize or exaggerate the values held within their own race, religion, nation, and culture, making beliefs and ideologies in other cultures sound less academic, cultural, or significant. They compare elements they perceive within their own culture to be more advanced and therefore superior to, to different cultures, which becomes exacerbated to the point of sounding more like a fairy tale than actual factual representations of their own culture. When a person becomes utterly presidential and reliant on the values developed over time within their culture, which some observers may interpret as propaganda, they become unapologetically ignorant to the points of view held by people from other nations or cultures who come from or live in dissimilar environments and social systems, which are governed by different cultural norms, political beliefs, or religious doctrines. Now, it is true that some cultures overlap or have similar lifestyle concepts and beliefs. However, some fanatic ethnocentric individuals become surprised to learn or observe instances in other cultures that they perceive as being culturally different on all conceivable levels. And in, in extreme cases, people who have centralized ethnocentric beliefs may see how life is lived in other cultures as being illogical, unacceptable, or just simply barbaric. These types of reasoning alone can cause ultra-ethnocentric people to look for and instigate actions that may lead to war or complete genocide of people from other cultures they see as possessing values that appear to be diametrically opposed to their own. Now is the time when people from other nations need to step back to scrutinize the values they hold within their own culture and nation. It is hoped that this self-examination can give a different perspective without prejudice that can help determine if their beliefs or political systems are suitable for the way life is in other nations and occupied lands that have different cultures and systems. Now, suppose people and nations aren't able to collectively modify their way of thinking to communicate and coexist with people and governments that have and operate under different cultural norms, political systems, and ideologies. 
Now, suppose this is the road people of the world choose to follow in the future. And if that's the case, the world will just end up becoming a living hell for people who cannot remove themselves from their leaders' idiocratic thinking and sometimes violent actions. Now, today is precisely when ordinary people of the world must place a dividing line between their lives and ideological and political beliefs and actions held by the people who have been granted or subversively placed in positions to make decisions for them. Now, what I just stated may sound strange to people living under authoritarian regimes, but an effort must be made because this blue dot in space is the only place we have to solve our grievances. We need to make up our minds before it's too late. If you have found what we have to offer of any value, please click on the subscribe and bell buttons below to keep up to date with our current episodes. And if you're listening to our podcast, please help us spread the word that we have a lot more in common than we think. We're very interested to hear what you have to say. Before Seas One Family, I'm James Thomas in Taipei, Taiwan. And remember to stay safe and healthy wherever you are in the world.